video is part of the Commercial Building Electrical Design Series. Uh, we're continuing our talks in uh, dealing with lighting design. Uh, look at our last lighting source in this video, which is LED type lighting. Again, taking a quick stock of where we are, gone through terms and definitions, gone through most uh, all the major sources that uh, we might deal with, and uh, ending today with LED type. So LED lights make up, make use of the phenomenon that uh, in semiconductor devices uh, and what happens at the PN junction. So as electrons and holes cross the junction and combine or recombine, um, this process causes a photon, which for all practical purposes is a particle of light to be given off. And so you can see here at the five steps in this process, you know, we don't want to get too technical in this survey. Uh, course, but you know this is the process that happens. So as these electrons and holes combine across this junction, it gives off light, which you know this is a result of some of uh, what Einstein did with his photosynthesis uh, discoveries. <clears throat> so LED light is the predominant up-and-coming new light source that is currently taking over the market, pretty much in every area. Um, so we want to continue our look at this lighting source now and, you know, some of its characteristics. As far as efficacy, uh, LED lamps uh, have efficiencies that are considered to be probably some of the best available. Uh, in general, they're usually in the 85 to 120 lumens per watt, but you can get some special types that are up near the 300 lumen per watts for some applications so it's uh, it's pretty amazing uh, performance uh, li these luminaires have very good lamp life you know when they first came out they were originally advertised that uh, they thought they could get them up to the hundred thousand hour range but since that and you know now that we have some market history doesn't seem to be the case uh, they do seem to fall in the range of the 30 to 50,000 hour range, though, which is still very, very good, but uh, not quite as good as they had originally uh, predicted. Uh, these types of lamps do experience some minor losses. Um, so, you know, when you take into account all the factors uh, and uh, multiply them out, it's usually in the range of 80 to 90 percent, which is still pretty good, but uh, they do have some losses associated with them. <clears throat> Another area where they seem to dominate, uh, LED lights seem to dominate, is in the uh, spectral distribution, so especially since these uh, lights can be tuned at any color really you want. But you can see here, if you just take the white, though, this green line here, uh, it has pretty darn good coverage, with the exception of maybe the violet range might be a little weak, but other than that, the rest of it's really, really good. Whereas you do that compared to uh, like the tungsten halogen, which is this red uh, lamp here, again, predominantly in the red yellow, but kind of dropping off, it gets down to the blue violet. Mercury vapor does have pretty good representation, although it's spotty across here. Of course, the best is sunlight, and it's hard to compete with that. I mean, even the LED pales can compare to that. It has everything present in, in ample uh, ample range. <clears throat> uh, and just for reference, like if you had a barcode scanner, for whatever reason is on this graph, you can see it's a pretty narrow band here, so you only have just that range there. So all in all, if you look at the green, that's pretty good compared to, to, to different types of sources. So there are many factors, again, when doing coefficient of utilization, but the ones that depend on the lamp itself, uh, when it comes to LED, uh, these are really considered to be really, really good. So uh, another category that LED seems to dominate. When it comes to control, starting and restarting of these fixtures is basically instant. There are no issues. They don't really mind cold weather. Uh, none of that seems to matter, and these types of fixtures are very easily and readily dimmable. So uh, any type of control that you're wanting to, to accomplish, you can pretty much do with these types of fixtures without much consequence. 
So again, LED lighting is generally considered a good option for both interior and exterior applications. They're used all over the place now. The market tendency is to utilize these fixtures more and more as the price of these types of fixtures continue to drop. So uh, it used to be these were very expensive, and so that kind of priced them out for some applications. But over time, those prices have dropped, and now it's basically these went out pretty much over any other fixture uh, when you do any type of life cycle cost analysis or anything like that.